I'm loving season two more than I'm loving season one, which I love season one too. But I love the way your characters are interacting this season. How was it to bring a different light to them, different in connections for this season? Well, I mean, these episodes are so fun. You know, we're celebrating special events these days. You know, season one was a holiday. Season two is special events. And, you know, it's a lot of fun. We get to go to Vegas. We got to celebrate um, a wedding, a birthday, um, a very fun fantasy scene in uh, episode two. So it's just really fun to be working with, like, professionals, especially great-looking men. Um, it's always it's always a good time. So how is it since the two... Great looking man here. How is it to be to be to her? She should be able to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not bad. Uh, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I, <laughs> no, no, I mean it's not. It's not something you ever like acknowledge necessarily about yourself. Um, but you know, working working with this cast and working with Emerald is just it's it's a dream. There's, there's a very good looking lady as well. So you know, and I think Glow Glow is very specific about this being. There is a slight fantastical element to the show of like it's just a little larger than life. It's just a little, you know, kind of a throwback to an era of shows that don't particularly exist anymore, but that we as people of color never got to partake in. Um, and it's nice that there's that nice that we get to visit that kind of like, you know, larger than life atmosphere. Yeah. And Rome, what is it like to be playing this character, developing them even more and putting more into Santiago? Um, it's uh, I mean, it's been great. The other side of it is, you know, we, you, you always approach it with appreciation you don't know how far you, you're able to take it like i'm thankful i remember we were doing the first season i was like damn it's gonna be great we could do another one but you know a lot of shows don't get that opportunity so the fact that we did um to be able to step back in in santiago um i really just try to appreciate it a lot more this time around yeah and for all of you it's such it's so grounded in reality that a lot of people that i know who've seen the show feel like they're a part of the family they're one of your friends how important is it to be able to connect that well where the audience is just feeling like every if like they have to see the show well they have to see the show because it's great <laughs> funny and it's amazing yeah. you said but more than that it's because it's breaking barriers more than that because we need more shows like this because more than that this is the only show that's showing a latino family in all its glory we are used to seeing marginalized people in in, in trauma scenarios and this is not like that we are we are having our happy ending we are thriving we are owning businesses and it's kind of sad to say that that's breaking barriers seeing people of color own businesses that's something that needs to change immediately in our culture so i love the fact that gloria created the show um that is so positive and uplifting and that means a lot to latinos because that creates inspiration for us that creates hope and that creates confidence to see ourselves in this light and for people that aren't latino latine latinx it creates awareness it creates um an understanding it creates um, a connection because at the end of the day we're all human beings and we all feel the same yeah. thank you so much everybody that's my time and i really appreciate you talking with us love the show big fans here at muse tv thank you thank you thank so you. much thank you so much man.